Hi, this evening I wanted to look at a German wine and the wine I've got here is um, from a producer called Kohler Ruprich. It's their Kalstader Riesling Cabinet Trocken from 2020. Um, and um, Kohler Ruprich, a really highly renowned uh, winery from the from the Pfalz, the Palatina, the Rheinfalz. Um, and a winery that's always had a, a reputation for being very sort of vehement about the quality of its wines um, and the individuality of them as well. Um, members of the VDP since 1926, uh, for, for many years um, the winery was run and a lot of its um, reputation was established by a character called Bernard Philippi, whose family had owned the, the winery for generations. Bernard sold the winery in, in 2010. Um, but stayed on as a consultant to try and ensure that the the quality and the style of the wines was sort of um, um, stayed harmonious with with what had been done in the past. And actually, this meant that in um, 2014, the new owners, the Savage family, um, and um, their their new winemaker decided that actually the new rules that the VDP had introduced that would stop them from labelling a wine as a trocken but still giving it its Pradicat level, um, meant that they could no longer stay with the VDP. And they actually, and in a very unusual um, step for a German winery, resigned from the, the quality association, the VDP, um, to, to keep true to the way in which they make their wines. So making them as, in a dry style, but within the Pradicat levels, because they, they felt that the um, VDP's allowance of people to actually chapitalise um, was not something that they agreed with. Um, so here, a simple Kalstader Riesling cabinet, I'm sure it's not that simple, but um, not a vineyard designate wine, but a, a wine taken from the region, so or from the village. So potentially um, a wine that um, could have more than one source within that village. Um, so let's have a look at the now, first of all, let's talk about how they make the wine. There's a real sort of handmade approach to this. I mean, this, as I say, this is a, I say this is simple wine. They made five passes through the vineyards this year, evidently, to, to pick the, the grapes just at ripeness. And this is the point about Cabinet. Um, cabinet is, is not the lowest quality level. Cabinet is a wine made with grapes that are at full ripeness. Anything beyond that is extra ripeness, sort of Spätleser or something like that. So um, grapes made at full ripeness. Quite a simple winemaking process in that um, uh, the grapes are lightly crushed, they're allowed to macerate for a little while until the ambient yeasts start the fermentation. They're fermented in large old, uh, I believe chestnut uh, ovals, um, but large old wood anyway, um, and um, they, it, that stays in there for a year. Um, the viticulture, I should have said, is, is biodynamic. Uh, they practice biodynamics in the, in the vineyard. Um, so let's have a look at the wine and see see what we think of the quality there. First thing to say, relatively pale colour, but with a um, a slight uh, yellow to it. It's hard to see in this fading light, I'm afraid, but um, you'll have to take my word for it. Um, the aromas. The aromas are quite restrained. There's a, a sort of a waxy note to the liminess on the nose. Um, lime and lemon. Um, maybe a slightly lifted sort of honeysuckle type perfume or something like that. A um, little restrained, yep. On the palate, crisp mineral acidity is balanced by a lovely rounded fruit. There's a slight waxiness to the texture, but it's not unpleasant. But there's also Behind that, there are notes of sort of peachy stone, not vividly peach, but quite gentle, restrained peach notes, gentle, restrained lime notes. Um, perhaps some touches of blossom as well. There's a nice, nice weight and roundness to the wine. It's a very harmonious, it's not um, sharp and acidic, which is often a criticism of trocken wines from Germany. Um, there is no sweetness, and yes, there's a richness to the fruit. Um, that's lasting beautifully. There's that sort of slight um, apricotty, slightly um, almost a sort of a touch of sort of spun sugar about it, but not sweetness. It, it's 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 the caramelised notes that I'm, I'm getting that are sort of rich and ripe. Um, 
and the flavour's lasting really nicely. So yes, um, lovely wine, uh, Köhler Ruprix 2020 Karlstadter Riesling Trocken. I'm hoping to look at some more wines from this producer very soon, um, so do join us for those. Bye now.